Well, it is a matter of modern convenience and entertainment connecting your phone to your car. Nice and easy Bluetooth pairing, hands free calls, but it all comes with a catch. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolton reveals who can access your info even if your car is vulnerable. Car infotainment systems built in the last three years or so know more about what goes on in your phone and in your car than you do. And it all starts the moment you pair your cell phone with your car. News 6 has discovered that on some cars, when you plug in your phone or pair it via Bluetooth, computers are collecting the data from your smartphone and storing it in the infotainment system. What information is being accessed? How about your phone book, your call log, your text messages, your photos, your social media feeds, and every single place you've been? It is all up for grabs, and people want that information. So who came up with the idea to grab this information? The federal government. But not to spy on the average person. The 2013 project was in response to acts of terrorism. The Department of Homeland Security has partnered with a Maryland technology firm called Burla to come up with a cost-efficient way for law enforcement to access the data contained on a variety of cars and infotainment configurations. Accessing a car's data is basically unregulated with no standards for automotive cybersecurity. Anyone with the software, the machine know-how and access can harvest the data. ATA Associates, a respected accident reconstruction firm in Texas, is mulling over whether they need Burla's technology. But they shared with us the company's sales pitch. What appears to be supremely powerful software, pinpointing where people have been, how fast they got there, and who they talked to and texted along the way, is updated every second. And notice how the proprietary software can even tell whether someone tried to delete the info. The primary customer for this new data retrieval technology is law enforcement. When Burla started the project in 2013, they could access data on about 80 models. Today, the company says they can crack the code on over 4,600 cars. Once your phone sends data, it's almost always permanently on your infotainment system, but accessing that data varies greatly by manufacturer. Getting results and keeping your information safe. I'm Lewis Bolden, News 6. You learn something new every day, don't you?